Hi friends, welcome to my channel Math Army. So one more question on surface areas and volumes. A toy is in the form of a cone of radius 3.5 cm mounted on a hemisphere of same radius. The total height of the tower is 15.5 cm. So find the total surface area of the toy. So guys, here I have just drawn one uh, an empty vessel and on top of it I am even drawing a cone because they are mounted on each other. So actually the cone has been mounted on a hemisphere and both are having the same radius. So and the radius is 3.5 centimeters. Okay. Now and what is the resultant height? The resultant height is 15.5. Guys, uh, don't read it as a tower, but it's a toy. Okay. So it is 3.5 on the both the sides. And as you know that the height of the hemisphere is always equal to the radius. Okay. Now. So here I am writing as 3.5. So the height the complete height of the toy is 15.5 and the hemisphere itself is 3.5 so remove 15.5 out of 3.5 so you are left with 12 centimeters okay now this is your height of the cone so which is in the middle part and you need to find the lateral height okay and I'm just drawing it as a 15 which is the height of the entire toy now so and what you are expected to find you have expected to find the total surface area of the toy okay guys before getting into the problem uh, you need to even find the lateral height of the cone as well okay before getting into the actual problem let me write it down what all the things that are required Okay, radius of the cone which is 3.5 centimeters and height of the cone is 15.5 minus 3.5. So already drawn in the figure. So I am representing in the form of a statement which is 12 centimeters. Okay, and how you got this 12? It's 15 minus 3.5. And now, uh, what is the radius of the hemisphere? It is again 3.5. Now, so we have calculated all, but you know, when you think of cone, uh, you need to even have to have an idea related to the lateral height, which is L. And why we need to calculate that? Because the CSA of the cone is pi into R into L. So there is no L given, right? So we need to find that as well. Okay. So here we need to draw an extra diagram uh, which I am doing now at left hand side of the actual figure now see here 3.5 we know we know the height is 12 now now we need to find this one L okay L so I will be drawing an another small diagram so everybody can understand that and how it is looking this one so 3.5 is which is a radius you know I can assume it as a base and it is looking like a right angle triangle for me so let me put a b c okay and the 12 is the height and 3.5 is a base for me and what is bc bc is nothing but hypotenuse for me so as you know in the trigonometry so bc square is equal to square of the other two sides sum of squares of other two sides which I have just written 12 square plus 3.5 square okay 12 square is 144 and 3.5 square is okay guys do the rough work it's 12.25 3.5 into 3.5 which is 1225 so 12.25 if I add both, I am going to get 156.25. Guys, do a 
square root, you will be getting 12.5. Okay? So, lateral height is nothing but 12.5, which I have written. So, this gives uh, the examiner impression that your approach is very correct. Now, and we have been asked to find the total surface area of the toy. Okay. So, what is the total surface area? Okay. Before that, let me write it as slant height here, which is L. Okay. Now, we got all the information. Now, let us get into the, the actual problem. Guys, I, here I am trying to fit the entire solution in the single frame so that you will be having a uh, better understanding of the problem. Okay. So, TSA of the toy is equal to curved surface area of the cone plus curved surface area of the hemisphere that is CSA CSA of cone plus CSA of hemisphere so what is the formula for CSA of a cone it's pi r l okay and what is the CSA of the hemisphere it is 2 pi r square Okay, fine. Okay, pi represents 22 by 7 and r is 3.5 and the l which is the slant height is 12.5. I know this is a really a tough problem but okay and for this cone uh, for hemisphere 2 into 22 by 7 into 3.5 into 3.5. So here 7 cancels 3.5 in how many times? 0 0.5 times. Okay. And the same with hemisphere as well. 7, 7, 0 0.5 times. Now, on calculating uh, 22 into 0.5 into 12.5, I am getting 137.5. And here 2 into 22 into 3.5 into 0 0.5. I am getting it 77. So add them. You will be getting 214.5 centimeter square. Okay, sorry guys. One second. Okay. 214.5 centimeter square. That's it guys. The total surface area of the given toy is 572 centimeter square that's it guys if you like my channel please do not forget to share and subscribe in the meanwhile i keep on making the other videos for you till then bye for now good day